Hey guys, this is Ape for QTech right here. I just got my uh, hands on the new Samsung Galaxy S3 by T-Mobile. Um, I just got this today, June 27th, during the second wave of launches from T-Mobile. The first wave actually was uh, June 21st, for those of you who don't know. It was released in select major markets in the U.S., such as New York, Houston, Los Angeles, and online on the T-Mobile website for uh, new contracts and also for upgrading. Um, the second wave was released in 27 due to shortages by Samsung, and that also being limited quantities in select T-Mobile stores. The store I went to only had two uh, phones that came in this morning. I managed to get there early in the morning to pick up um, the first phone. Uh, I got this for $329.99, the 16 gigabyte version, Pebble Blue color. Um, it'll be $279.99 after I submit the mail-in rebate, the $50 mail-in rebate. Um, overall, it's I heard it's a pretty decent phone. Um, it's pretty powerful compared to you know its predecessors such as the Galaxy S2 and the first Galaxy S. Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing. You know, just go over quickly. You know, some of the hardware, some of the specs, and, um, and that will be about that. That'll be just about it. So, as you can see from the outside, um, the packaging is very similar. You know, to previous versions of the Galaxy S, such as the S2, the Blaze, and the Galaxy S. Uh, also very similar to the iPhone packaging as well. So I'm um, just going to open it up. Now I took the liberty of removing the, the film stickers on the back and the front as well as popping in the battery so that way um, it will save time and you guys don't have to watch me, you know, put this in for like one, you know, one or two minutes. So I'm just going to start it up. Um, the screen size is pretty pretty large. I believe it's uh, 4.5 inches around. Um, resolution is 1280 by 720, supporting 720p video. It has AMOLED display, um, pentile, and it's pretty neat. Uh, Gorilla Glass 2 over here, which is which is just like Gorilla Glass but thinner with the same amount of strength, tensile strength, to be specific. Um, and we're just gonna. This is a startup menu right here. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty nice interface. It's running. This is running Google's uh, newest OS, uh, Android 4.0 uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, this brings a bit of new features into the phone as well. So here are some of the apps over here. Now this phone uh, actually comes preloaded with um, some bloatware from T-Mobile. Um, let me just show you some of that. Some some apps, you know, which you probably would never even use, like T-Mobile Hotspot, Access T-Mobile, T-Mobile TV, and um, other stuff. So, unfortunately, you can't remove these programs. Um, they're just stuck to the phone. Um, hopefully, maybe if we, you know, later on, if I unlock the phone, we'll be able to get rid of this. But, oh, oh, you know, for the time being, it's not a problem. Um, so, just to show you how thin the phone is, it's pretty thin. It's thinner than the Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy S. And it's pretty much comparable to, you know, the new HTC One series phones, you know, in terms of uh, thickness. So I'm um, just going to show you the back first. Um, this is the casing in the back. It's plastic, even though it looks like metal. Um, it's, I believe, a polycarbonate plastic, very strong. Some people say it feels cheap and flimsy, but um, it tends to feel good in the hand. A um, little, very lightweight. Um, just enough weight so that way it feels as if you're holding something durable in your hand. Um, you have an 8 megapixel camera over here which takes 1020 to 1080p video. Um, you have a speaker over here for speakerphone and playing music, etc. And you also have a flash over here, LED flash for taking pictures and video. Um, on the front you have a headphone jack and I believe the antenna should be on the top as well. It doesn't show. On the bottom you have um, a little hole for the speaker. Uh, so I'm sorry for the microphone to talk. You got the micro USB jack over here, which also outputs um, HDMI video if you have the, that adapter. On the side, you got the power button over here, and then on the other side, you have the volume rocker. And on the front, you you basically have a two megapixel front-facing camera over here, a proximity sensor, also with a notification LED over here. Which, uh, which displays colors blue, green, and red, depending on what notifications you're getting. Uh, and so basically this is the interface, uh, the new Google uh, Android 4.0 um, OS ice cream sandwich. Brings a bit of new features to the phone. Um, show you the menu. Um,
it's pretty fast. As you can see over here, it's running T-Mobile's 4G network. It's not really, really 4G. It's kind of like an upgrade version or a 3G network. Um, you know, according to some rumors and tech websites, uh, T-Mobile is going to launch their LTE network next year, uh, running on the current 3G bands. I believe it's just 1700 megahertz and 2100 megahertz. Um, overall, the phone is pretty snappy. Um, it's pretty quick as well. Um, it's a lot of stuff, you know, in here. Some maps, you know, you could, you could remove over here, but a lot of the T-Mobile apps, you know, you kind of stuck with them. Um, basically, um, also the RAM on this phone, also this two gigabytes of RAM, which is a lot. I think this is the highest amount for a phone. Um, it's also dual channel, which is unique to uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, which is on this phone. The believed Qualcomm S4 processor running at 1.5 gigahertz dual core. Um, Currently, this is on old Samsung Galaxy S3s in the U.S. Only the International Edition has the quad-core Exynos processor running at, uh, I believe, 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe 1.2 might be 1.5. Um, but nevertheless, this is still snappy. You know, um, doesn't show. There isn't much of a difference compared to you know the videos I saw with the Exynos Qualcomm. Sorry, the Xenos quad core processor. I'm getting confused with Qualcomm. It sounds the same. But, um, yeah, this is basically it. Um, I would highly recommend any, you know, any anybody that's looking to upgrade a phone to get this. Uh, it's pretty, um, pretty light, pretty durable, pretty fast, uh, pretty unique also as well. Um, I just wanted to check out, um, one feature with the phone. I wanted to see if it's on here. Um, uh, I'm looking for the S Voice app right here. So you have the new Samsung S Voice, which is being touted as a Samsung version of Siri. Um, okay, okay, I know that, I know that. Okay, blah blah. Okay. So all you got to do is hit here. What is the weather like today? Partly sunny and breezy. Today. Yeah, so this is where I'm at right now. Um, I don't live here. I'm at a friend's house. But um, this is how the weather is right now in Elma, New York. It's uh, 80 degree, 83 degrees Fahrenheit because it's June. But um, as you can see, it's you know very, very much like Siri. Um, pretty decent phone. So that would be the end of my review. I could go more in depth into the apps and widgets, but I don't want to drag this on. So this is just a quick unboxing, again, of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, again, highly recommend this phone. Um, and stay tuned, comment, subscribe. Later.